volume. Now volume, and we like to look at price, volume, volatility. Volume was up 28% yesterday versus the one month average. So finally, you got one heck of a lot of volume on a one month basis versus the average on the what? On the down move, exactly. It's elevators up and it's windows on the way out. So again, that's what happened, folks. It was the worst down day of the year, and it should have happened because you have a very liquid market that people were chasing for performance reasons. If you look at our scorecard, there was absolutely no fundamental reason if you're a growth investor to be buying growth at the end of June in, into the beginning of July. Absolutely no reason. Zero. Nada. Nothing. Uh, so again, at the end of the day, uh, I think you know what I think about that. Advanced decline line yesterday was a certified train wreck. Uh, sector studies, zero. Not one sector is bullish from an immediate term trade perspective. So again, that's bad. Zero out of nine sectors, that's really bad. Moreover, four out of nine are bullish from a trend perspective, which means five are not. So the only sectors that are holding their trend line currently are healthcare, energy, tech, and basic materials. Now all these things have one thing in common. They're not early cycle stocks, okay? Short early cycle, stay with whatever else you can stay with, that hopefully it's a good idea or whatever it is. But if you're just doing the macro setup, this will absolutely nail it for you for the year to date. Healthcare's up 10% still for the year to date. Energy's up nine. You don't want to be long industrials. You don't want to be the consumer stocks. I mean, consumer discretionary is down 1.4%. If I have one more person tell me that we're wrong on the consumer uh, in the face of the score saying the exact opposite, I think I'm going to come through the phone. Uh, looking at that for what it is because that's what it is.